Welcome to the Goodwood Festival of Speed 2025. We are here on the Future Lab stand. Behind us, we have our record breaking car that myself at the wheel broke the record here three years ago. Uh, you might be asking, why is the car upside down? A couple of months ago, we were the first car in automotive history to successfully drive upside down. Uh, the fan technology allows us to do that. The car weighs under a tonne and produces two tonnes of downforce. So you can actually drive upside down for the first time in history. In this video, technical director Kevin reveals McMurtry's key Goodwood breakthroughs, flips VIPs including an astronaut upside down in the rig, and unpacks how modern McMurtry fan tech has evolved beyond the legendary BT46B Formula One car. You'll become a McMurtry expert in 15 minutes. So good to be back at Goodwood again. This event is so special and so important for the whole team. This is our fifth year here, and ever since 2021, when we first unveiled the car, and we were fortunate enough to have Derek Bell drive the car up the hill for us. Now, not many people know that that year that we had that there was a very well-known fella called Max Chilton, who was walking through the paddock, spotted the car, and thought, wow, that looks interesting, what is it? Came and had a chat with us, and a few months later, he was signed up as a development driver. 2022 was a landmark year for us, with Max Chilton and this very car right here, smashing the hill climb record. Now, back at base, we all knew it was theoretically possible. Uh, all the simulations were telling us, yes, the car could take the record, but one thing is looking at simulation, and another thing is delivering on the day. Now, throughout the weekend, we saw Max's times were slight tumbling. It went from 43 seconds, 42 seconds, and then on the Sunday, we didn't know whether it was actually gonna happen. I remember st st I was on the start-finish line, and I was so nervous. Now, if I was nervous, imagine what Max was like. Throughout the weekend, every time he'd be in the car, I'd go talk to him, I'd say, do you want some water, do you want anything I can do for you? He'd always be chatting to me, he'd be saying anything, oh, how are the other cars up ahead doing? The Sunday morning, he was silent. I tried to approach the car, he straight away said, leave me alone. He was in the zone, and when he took off, he delivered something incredibly special. And that very moment right there, the moment that went viral, it launched the brand, launched the company, introduced us to the world and said, we are McMurtry, this is what we can do, we're open for business. Since breaking the record in 2022, people started asking us, can we buy the car, are you making a customer version? And yes, we, we'd been working on a, on a new version of the car, which is the validation prototype, which is the blue car shown in the picture. And we unveiled that here in 2023, and it was really exciting to meet our customers and meet new customers as well and uh, to look around and uh, be on a stand next to other supercars. It made me think of when I was a boy and uh, I used to beg my dad to take me here year after year, looking at all my favorite cars, looking at the Koenigsegg, looking at the Paganis, looking at the Ferraris and thinking, you know, what could I achieve one day? Can, will I be able to work on such exciting cars? So to be there on a stand next to all these other top brands, uh, it was a really proud moment. The first car, the silver car, it was very much a proof of concept. Uh, proving that the fans worked on the vehicle, that we could deliver the performance that we expected. And then the blue car was, we were making big improvements in uh, areas that would allow us to run the car for longer, over a, over a day. So we improved the cooling system, getting much better battery cooling, powertrain cooling. Uh, we started using off-the-shelf Michelin tires that were much uh, easier to get hold of. So any customer will be able to get hold of those tires, no matter where they are in the world. And generally just making improvements on every, any system, allowing us to run all day and do session after session throughout the day and just pile on the miles. And we're back here in 2024, shortly ha after having taken the Hockenheim closed wheel record. We came here with both cars, the silver car up in the race car paddock and the blue car down in the supercar paddock. And we had both our drivers, Alex Summers and Max Chilton, driving both cars throughout the weekend. And as soon as the event was over, we were off to California, taking the Laguna Seca hill climb record. It was really important for us to be taking the car internationally across various tracks around the world, just proving out how the car can work across all the different tracks, different surfaces and different environments. So now we're back in 2025, celebrating the fact that we've just driven the car upside down using the fan-based downforce. People have been asking us for years, how does the downforce system work? What's underneath the car? How do your batteries work? What, what's the technology that makes this car tick? So this year, we're happy to tell people in a bit more detail about how the system works. The, we've shown the power of the fans, both driving the car up the hill a few years ago, as well as now with the upside down rig. 
and we're showing a bit more information about how we create a low pressure area underneath the car. We suck the air out from the ground through a filtration system, through the fan, out the back of the car. And we're also giving a bit more detail into the battery packs uh, that power the car, uh, the traction system that delivers a thousand horsepower to the rear wheels and the fan system. Just how compact and revolutionary it really is. And we're also making the technology available to other car manufacturers. And the team is split into two locations. We have uh, half of the team here with a silver car with, on the upside down rig. And the other half of the team are at Dunsfold running customers through the blue car throughout the whole weekend. Now this is our first year here at Goodwood without David. We unfortunately lost him back in December, but we're still here as a team carrying his dreams and ideas through to fruition and carrying his legacy on. I was very fortunate to work with him for the past nine years. He was such a brilliant engineer, always such a sharp mind, always challenging us to go back to first principles, but also to make sure that everything we're working on and everything we're developing was innovative. If it was the same as what other people are doing, he wasn't interested. He always challenged us, pushed the boundaries, aim higher. We had a special visitor on Friday, someone whose job even racing drivers dream of. He is British astronaut and Goodwood Future Lab ambassador, Sir Tim Peake. He's no stranger to G-forces or piloting rocket ships, so it was a privilege to share a few minutes with him when he asked to be spun around in the record-holding upside-down car. His passion for technology and exploration reminded us why pushing boundaries on the ground or in orbit matters. So this feels remarkably similar to being strapped into a Sawyer's capsule. In fact, it's a bit more comfortable sitting position. As Sawyer's, your, your knees are kind of up more towards your chest. But in terms of that kind of proximity of having a hatch close to your head, it feels very similar. Uh, and the tightness of the, the harnesses as well. We really pull the harnesses tight because if you're going to be doing four or five Gs, then uh, you need to have a tight harness. So this feels really cool. At this point, if you were doing this for real, um, obviously this car is bolted to the ground at the moment, but if you were relying purely on the downforce from those fans, I mean, you have to have a huge amount of trust and faith in technology, but it's pretty impressive to think that you could be upside down with this car sticking itself to the track. Absolutely amazing. That feels very, very cool. And of course, the car that holds the, the record, not just at the Goodwood Hill Climb, but also on the Top Gear track as well. That is fantastic, amazing. I'm about to go upside down in a McMurtry, which is something I didn't expect I'd be doing today for sure. So my name is Roger Monteforte. I'm a customer uh, of McMurtry. I was lucky enough yesterday to drive uh, the other test car, the blue car, at Top Gear uh, Test Track, which was absolute insanity. And then I also had driven the car in Lime Rock a couple of months before. And I can tell you that it just continues to astonish on every level. It's, it's super human, that's all I can say. It's just uh, absolutely nuts. And the last thing I expected today coming to Goodwood was to be the first customer to actually go in this car and go upside down. But again, the guys at McMurtry are the best, absolute best. They're, they're just fantastic, great people, put out a great product and super pumped today to do something that no one else has ever done. <laughs> all right, I'm upside down in a McMurtry. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, whoa, <laughs> that was definitely unique, <laughs> only McMurtry boys and girls, only McMurtry. To be so cool with your customers, give access and like complete access to the, to the car, to the product, even during the testing phase, yeah. taking the input from the customers. Yeah. It's just, it's an experience I've never had with any other manufacturer, oh, man. It's like yeah, really, yeah. It, it makes me 
want you guys to succeed because oh. you're so nice and just great. It's oh. definitely customer direct. It's, yeah. It's yeah. awesome that you guys are like getting the inputs from the yeah. customers. I mean, it's, it's just awesome. amazing, man. Yeah. You, you guys are awesome. Yeah, well, you've you know? got lots of experience with other brands as well. Yeah. Performance driving racing. So yeah. it, it works really well. And actually, I remember when you came to Lime Rock and you drove the car and gave your feedback. Like, I ranked that in one of my top three McMurtry moments. Like, yeah. Getting the Goodwood record is one. Yeah. And we did a really <laughs> mega lap time around Silverstone. We, yeah. And then, like, getting your feedback, I was like, oh, yeah, that's yeah, awesome, man. Moment. I love it. I love it's it. Great it. that you guys are improving upon that. Yeah. yeah. yeah it's really and I, I look forward to the future, man. What are you most looking forward to when you get your car? Oh my God. So here's the thing, and I was speaking to Gabe about this. Here's our plan. We're traveling across North America. We're going to all the most iconic tracks in the world. And we're going there to break every track record. And we're gonna check them off like a hit list. And we're gonna put them in the car. We're gonna, I'm gonna brand them in the dash. Each track, Watkins Glen with a slash. Road America, Road Atlanta. I wanna break every track record in this car in North America. Wow. That's, wow. The, that's the goal, man, Good that's luck. the goal. Hi, I'm Anna, I'm from Bingo Sports in Tokyo and we're here with McMurtry and the Spearling at Goodwood Festival of Speed. So, we need some seat belts because we're about to go upside down. Yeah, fair enough. All right, enjoy. Thank you. Oh my gosh, at the Goodwood Festival of Speed. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, they padded the, uh, padded <laughs> the steering wheel column. <laughs> Woo. Oh my gosh, we stopped. Okay, we're moving again. <laughs> That's unbelievable. So this year, the Festival of Speed is celebrating Gordon Murray's incredible 60-year career. And I think it's really important for us to acknowledge the cars that inspired the Spearling in the first place. So we have Gordon Murray's Brabham B46B, a car that was entered into the 1978 Swedish Grand Prix and Nick Lauda drove it to victory in his first outing. And even before then, there was a Chaparral 2J created by Jim Hall for the Can-Am series in the US. So the Brabham had a big Axial fan at the back of the car, whereas on our car we have two centrifugal fans located here and there. Now the reason we've gone for this different type of fan, so a centrifugal fan looks like the compressor on the turbocharger and it's much more effective at generating a big pressure gradient that helps us generate the two tons of downforce at any speed. Our skirts are very different as well. So on the Brabham, you have skirts that seal the whole perimeter of the car. Whereas here, we have a very narrow skirt in the center of the vehicle. This means that if a driver goes over a curb with his outside tires, we can still maintain a sealed section in the middle of the car, maintaining full downforce. So we've spent years trying to find the perfect material for our skirts. Materials that were not available back in the 70s during the ground effect days, where teams were using polymer-based materials to seal against the track. And the problem with these materials is that they used to wear out fairly quickly. And by the end of the race, they were completely worn out. Whereas with our skirts, they'll last thousands of kilometers. So safety has been a critical consideration ever since we first came up with the concept. So with the driver is able to turn both fans on and they pull a constant two tons of downforce, no matter what speed you're doing. So completely removing the link between engine or motor or gear the gearbox speed to downforce generated. We have two fans on the car with individual redundant power supplies, meaning that if one of the fans was to ever shut off, you're still able to maintain downforce and maintain drivability and controllability of the vehicle. Goodwood is the only place on earth where you find so many historically significant cars all gathered in one spot. You know, as, as an engineer, it's truly inspiring to be walking around the paddock and witness how automotive technology has evolved through the decades. <laughs> Here he is. Ah, the upside down man. Mean? It's been fantastic. It's so much attention for people love what you did with this car. And uh, it looks absolutely fantastic. They're, they're literally, they're, you driving this upside down, so many people were so excited to, to actually talk about it. And everyone was standing here explaining to the kids, to, to their friends, it's like what we actually did. And uh, now you ready, ready to do it again? I can't wait. I absolutely can't wait. Here we are at Goodwood with a car up on a plate, upside down already. What a joy. All right, let's get you in. So to round up our weekend here at Goodwood, it has been amazing. We've been running at two locations and it's been a complete joy to show 
our, our old customers and our new customers how we've developed the car and how it's progressing over at Dunfold. But we've had the rig here at, at Goodwood, upside down, and to see the support that we get from our fans, it's been utterly humbling. We're so grateful for the support that we get. We're so excited to be producing production cars. Expect them out in the coming year. We're working incredibly hard as a team. The team's doing a great, great job and we look forward to being back here next year. It's been fantastic to be here for the fifth year and really seeing how the support for our company has grown. Thank you very much for having us here, Goodwood. Bye-bye.